Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. President Obama announced plans Friday to revamp the National Security Agency's surveillance programs. Have a listen. In other words, it's not enough for me as president to have confidence in these programs. The American people need to have confidence in them as well. The American people need to have confidence in these programs, but are these changes really necessary in the first place? Editorial board member Joe Rago joins me now. Joe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I haven't seen any s evidence of abuse of these NSA programs. Why would the president make this announcement? Right. Well, the opponents of these programs think just their existence uh, uh, is an abuse. So that's, that's not really going to help you uh, uh, amid the political panic that we're in right now. Uh, over the NSA uh, surveillance program. So is the, is the president proposing really big changes to the program, you know, getting rid of it or somehow making this uh, information public? What exactly did he say right. he would well, do? Well, the, the danger is that there will be so many controls that they are rendered uh, ineffective. But what he's proposing is to have, it, to, to have the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, or FISC, uh, to make it a more adversarial process, allegedly. We don't know how it's proceeding proceedings work because it's uh, uh, not publicly disclosed, but to essentially put a devil's advocate in there to be arguing against the government's request for uh, wiretaps and uh, metadata sweeps and those kind of things. Doesn't the existence of this court, uh, uh, fi FISC, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, right. doesn't its very existence water down the president's powers in the first place? Why would you even want a court <laughs> That's like what this? the Wall Street Journal editorial page has been arguing since the late 1970s when this was created because it, it essentially surveillance is a core presidential war power. So inserting uh, the judiciary into that process diffuses accountability. And we can see that in the debate now where President Obama is saying, well, look, it's approved by this court. It's, <laughs> it's not me. Uh, blame the judges. So it, it essentially, uh, uh, it, it fractures accountability, political accountability for what these programs are doing. And the best uh, check against abuse, the best uh, way to prevent it is the disclosure of abuse. So now you're saying, well, if this is an abuse, it's not, it's not me, it's not an Obama program. We can blame these anonymous judges who have uh, inserted into the chain of command. Did, Joe, did Edward Snowden have a point, though, because this decision has been interpreted as a victory for him. Uh, did he have a point that some of these programs shouldn't be, be so secret, that maybe they shouldn't be run out of the NSA, they could be run out of other agencies, and, and fewer things should be top secret about our surveillance I, programs? I, we probably overclassify too much, you know, amid this debate, some of this uh, information about how these programs work has been has been coming out. Maybe we should have been doing that all along. The nature of intelligence is that if you expose sources and methods, uh, it reduces the effectiveness uh, of of these programs. Uh, the the problem here really is, you know, we knew uh, in 2012 that the Obama White House was preparing some of these things because. Pre the president seems to believe that he's the only one who can be trusted with the powers that he's used over the last five years, presumably to keep the country safe. We've got uh, less than a minute left. Is there a danger that Edward Snowden will be hailed as a hero and that we could see more leaks of the kind uh, that he disclosed, uh, putting our intelligence agencies and our agents at, at risk because the president effectively backtracked and, and caved into him. Right. Well, there, there's definitely a, a risk that there will be a, another leaker, someone who will steal national security secrets to uh, expose them. Uh, I think he's really an aberration here. You know, you kind of have to trust the people who run these run these uh, uh, programs to to use them uh, and not abuse them. Uh, and you know that that clip we heard from President Obama, it's his job to give <laughs> the people confidence uh, in, in the administration. Uh, so this is, this is really a, a, an unfortunate debate, I think. An unfortunate debate. Editorial board member Joe Rago, thank you so much for being on the show.